is so funny, and my book is not as funny. It's, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is Big, written and illustrated by me, Vashti Harrison. Once there was a girl with a big laugh and a big heart and very big dreams. She learned her ABCs and one, two, threes. She always said please and thank you and even put away all her toys. At dinner, she ate all her food. What a big girl you are, the adults would say. And it was good. She grew and learned and laughed and dreamed and grew and grew and grew. And it was good. Until it wasn't. Not a lot of words in this book, so we're going to look closely at the pictures. <laughs> Looks like here she is trying on dresses. And here she's with Santa. Santa's saying, you're a big girl, aren't you? Here she is at school. One day, something big happened. Looks like she's playing on the playground with her friends. Her friends are saying, I can't wait for the recital. I'm going to be a rose. I'm going to be a daisy. And what she's saying? Oh no. Look, she's stuck. OMG, ha ha ha. Moo, whale. More like moose. And now she's saying, help. Looks like her teacher is here trying to pull her out. And they fell. Her teacher's saying, don't you think you're too big for that? You could have hurt someone. You should know better. Those are for the little kids. You're in big trouble. It made her feel small. The words stung and were hard to shake off. She began to feel not herself, out of place, exposed, judged, yet invisible. Everyone had advice, but that kind of hurt too. Looks like her dance instructor is saying, hmm, that's no good. Try this instead. This is perfect for you. You're just too big. The flower costume won't fit. Where are you going? What did I say? Not a lot of words left. Looks like she ran and found a corner to hide in. And something's happening. Something's changing. You can really see it when we look at the book. It's almost like she's kind of stuck on this side of the page. So what do you think is going to happen next? She fell over. And now she's struggling. And now, even in this sad moment, these people are walking by and they're saying, aren't you too big to be crying? Have you tried being smaller? Why can't you just fit in? One day, she finally let it all out. Looks like there's something coming out in her tears. She started to see things more clearly. Looks like she's looking at one of those words. She decided to make more space for herself. How is she going to do that? You can't see it up there, but you can really see it here. She decided to make more space for herself and was e able to see a way out. What do you think is on the other side there, on the way out? Some of those people, she's handing something to them and she's saying, these are yours, they hurt me but it looks like she's holding on to something as well, some of those other words. Not everyone understood or even listened. It's just a joke. 
it's not that serious. You're too sensitive. Some tried. I didn't mean to hurt you. But they still couldn't see that she was just a girl. I can help you change if you want. But what does she say? No, thank you. I like the way I am. And she was good. And a bunch of other things. Um, very briefly, that is the end, thank you. I'm gonna very briefly read the author's note here for you. In, this is the author's note. In childhood, big is good. Big is impressive, aspirational. But somewhere along the way, the world begins to tell us something different. That big is bad, that being big is undesirable. I was never a dancer, but I did get stuck in a swing when I was younger. Some of the older kids and I were playing on the baby swings and I couldn't get out. I was the only one to get into trouble. My size indicated to adults that I was big enough to know better, even though I was still just a kid. I learned that day that my body did not fit, it did not belong, and adults no longer saw me as a little girl who could make innocent mistakes. While my experience was far less overt than the one in this book, the thoughts and words at work are the same. A child sits in the crosshairs of adultification bias and anti-fat bias. She's subjected to judgments and prejudices that are harmful and have lasting effects. Still, she finds enough self-love to return the words that were unkind and unhelpful. I hope she will stand as a guide to all who need to see her journey, especially those of us who are black girls in big bodies. There's more, but you can check it out. Thank you.